Hello, today we are going to continue the second part, on to the second part of the GIMP tutorial. We are not searching for stock anymore, as we have already gotten our subject, and our background. You may be wondering, what is this floating selection pasted layer number one? Well, what it is, is really just this. This little thing means that there's something on the pasted layer, on top of a transparent layer. Transparent layer, pasted layer. See? So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the horse. We're going to go to layer. Then we're going to go to anchor layer. And now the horse and the transparent layer are on the same layer. So you can move around and stuff. After that, we are going to take our eraser tool. You may think, but it's obviously easier to use the scissors. No, it's not. I would not suggest that ever unless you want a totally crappy picture that no one's going to like. You're going to go to your eraser tab, click on this. I'm going to use just a normal old circle just to start out. Just kind of erase most of the X's. I'm just going to take off the tail. I don't like that tail. Well, you're supposed to take off some of the tail anyway. Whoops, a daisy. Oh man. The reason you're supposed to take off some of the tail is because do you really want to go in and cut out or erase all the little cracks that you can see through the tail? No, I didn't think so. I'm going to take off this tail because the whole thing is basically a bunch of cracks and stuff. I'm just going to erase some of the excess now. Whoops, the days that got a little too close. Remember, you can always use the Control Z button if you um, get too close or erase part of the horse so you don't have to go edit, undo. I'm going to redo that since I did like that. Redo. We're going to continue to kind of just get closer and closer and closer every single time. I'm just going to take off that whole tail. I don't like it. There we go. Tail's gone. And, well, yeah, that's it for this tutorial. I will see you next time on the next tutorial. Um, I guess I'll see you later. Bye.